Hi, my name's Renee McLaughlin. I'm a certified health coach, the single mom to an amazing daughter, and the creator of the Balanced Lifestyle Program. Oh yeah, and lover of cool funky jewelry. I am committed and passionate to both living and sharing with others how to live a life of health, happiness, and balance. And in today's video, what I'd like to do is share with you three steps to stopping your stress eating in its tracks. Step number one, it is so important to really get connected, or gain clarity to how your attachment to your stress eating. Here's what I mean by that. So often people say to me, Renee, I am a stress eater. And they almost use it like a badge of honor. And here's what I want to say to you. If you've heard those words coming out of your mouth and you hear them in your mind, I want you to be very clear that you are you. You are a person who utilizes food to deal with the uncomfortable feelings that you get when you're under stress. You're using food almost like a drug in order to not feel those feelings that you don't want to feel. So number one, very important to get clear about that. And then to make a decision that you do want to gain back control over this particular behavior. Step number two is you want to find the specific triggers that are causing you to utilize food in order to quell those feelings. So as soon as you start to feel like you're right about to go in and eat, here's what you want to do. You want to give yourself a time out. You want to stop and start to think about, go backwards. What triggered you in that day to want to come forward and eat. Typically, there's one or two things that are constant triggers for you. And here's step number three. Step number three is to make a plan and to decide what you're going to do instead of eating. Now, I'm really a big believer in using deep breathing and deep breathing exercises because it can really stop that immediate reaction between the stressful trigger and the eating. So for example, right when you're about to feel like you're going to just stick your head right into the refrigerator, I want you to stop, time out, and begin to take a very deep breath. Take the breath down from your nose into your belly and exhale slowly. Now these are slow deep breaths, so it can look something like this. And exhale slowly through your mouth. Do that two or three times and watch how you're able to just slow down the brain waves, slow everything down, and stop that immediate trigger. Try these three steps, and here's what I want you to do. After you try them, come back to my blog and share your experience by giving us a comment. Love to hear from you and share your experience with the three steps to stopping stress eating in its tracks. Remember, you are not alone and you don't have to do it by yourself. Thanks.